So in this bottle we have cyclohexane and bromine water and this is an example of a free radical substitution reaction. There are three steps to free radical substitution, the first one being initiation. This is when you have two bromine radicals formed from a bromine molecule via UV light. The second step is propagation. And in the examples that we have with cyclohexane, the bromine radical will react with cyclohexane, generating more alkyl radicals. This will then further react with some more alkyl radicals or bromine radicals and will bring you on to termination. And this is the step when you have two radicals reacting together, which ends the reaction. There are an example of products which are generated through this, for example, and bromocyclohexane.